My name is Bill Kochevar. My name is Dr. Bolu Ajiboye. My accident happened in 2006. We met Mr. Bill Kochevar uh, through the VA center here in Cleveland. I was on a bicycle and I was following a mail truck. He has a spinal cord injury and is seeing a spinal cord injury doctor here at the VA. And it stopped to deliver a package and I didn't stop and ran right into the back. He has paralysis of all four limbs, so both arms and also his lower extremities. I had the thoughts in my head that I'll be unable to move, unable to do anything. Life will be over. My life changed in many ways. Everything I needed to do, somebody had to be there to do it. I could no longer work, too. Well, I found out about the BrainGate trial through my doctor at the VA. We were running our clinical trial, and we put out advertisements for potential participants. And fortunately for us, he agreed to join our, our study. When I first started, I was only doing stuff on the screen. And I thought, oh yeah, this is real easy. And then they said, we want to put electrodes in your arm. What we were trying to do was create possibilities to see in the future, this is what could you know, be done. Essentially, we record Bill's brain signals using electrodes that are placed inside his brain. And then we, what we call decode or decipher what those electrical patterns or brain activity mean. And then we electrically stimulate his arm and hand. The first time that I saw Bill move his arm just by thinking, the thought that went to my mind was, wow, Bill is moving his arm. And that is really amazing. And if you ask him um, what he's thinking about when he moves his arm, he says, I literally just think about moving my arm from point A to point B, and it moves there. So this work is part of a larger effort, part of a larger clinical trial called BrainGate 2, which is actually headed up by Dr. Lee Hochberg at Massachusetts General Hospital. There have been about 10 persons across the country implanted with the brain-computer interface. Working on this project has been very meaningful to me. Um, being able to work with Bill Kochevar, and I remember the first time that he was able to take a drink from a cup of coffee, um, or the first time he was able to feed himself using his brain computer interface and his FES arm. And it meant a lot to me because I could move my arm again when I thought that was never gonna happen. This has been uh, 10 years in the making, um, and so to be able to see the fruition of your labor um, is very rewarding as well. But then also to know that you are fundamentally making a huge impact, a huge difference in the life of somebody who needs it is personally rewarding as well. Well, in the future, I'll be able to do um, certain things on my own, and that's really important to someone in my condition that you can actually do something without having to call somebody all the time. So in this study, we've been able to see technology work with the will and the power of the human spirit in Bill Kochevar. If you ask him why he decided to participate in this study, he says somebody needs to be involved in research. And he personally said before he even started that he recognizes that he may not benefit from this research, but he firmly believed that somebody else down the road will. Being in the condition we're in, um, it doesn't mean that your life is over. You just have to think outside the box. And it's a great feeling when you do something that you know is going to help mankind. And being first didn't hurt either. <laughs>